Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Tough Toy Tryouts. If this is your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button and click the bell icon for alerts whenever we release a new episode. This week, we're not only testing out a new dog toy, but a new tech toy as well. We recently purchased a new action camera for some future vlogging, but mostly for some cool dog POV shots while stories at work. Back to the toy at hand, we're taking a look at the top paw knotted rope and tire toy that Story picked out for her birthday from PetSmart. We've done cotton rope toys and we've done rubber tire toys, but never both at the same time, until now. So, now that we know what we're testing this week, let's toss this baby on over to Story for testing and see how it holds up after a week's heavy abuse. And here it is! Oh, no wait. Here it is! Or at least what's left of it. It only took Story a couple of days to remove the rope, and then it pretty much became a fetch and tug toy, but we'll get into the details shortly. On with the ratings. For safety, the toy receives a 2. Rope toys are generally not very safe toys to play with, and this one is no exception. You need to watch your dogs play because ropes can quickly become a choking hazard as bits and pieces, often large pieces, start to come off. This is one of those toys you never want to leave alone with your pet, at least until the rope part is removed. Moving on to design, I give this tire toy a 4. As much as I don't like rope toys, this one was actually pretty good. The rope really kept Story's intention, and even when she finally pulled the rope free, she really enjoyed playing tug and fetch with the tire that was left. It doesn't bounce as well as, say, a Kong tire does, but this is likely due to the thinness of the rubber, and having large holes on either side probably doesn't help either. It's also too large to insert treats should your dog need some encouragement to play with it. Next up is longevity, and this top paw toy receives a 3. It's actually a combination of two scores, and since the rope would get a 1 and a tire would get a 5, the toy settles right in the middle. Since we already have a better tire toy, this one won't be staying with us. And finally we have the price, which lands a 1. At 13 bucks at PetSmart, which was on sale mind you, and not being available on Chewy, it's simply too expensive compared to its competitors which have plenty of cheaper alternatives with the same concept. Unless you can't wait for shipping and need to grab a toy from a brick and mortar shop, I'd just go with one of those. So, after plugging the scores into my S7 Edge because it's 2017 and who has an actual calculator anymore, we find that the top paw rope and tire toy receives a modest two and a half bones. Not the worst toy we've tested by any means, but there's definitely better alternatives out there and at better prices. And that's where we end this week's episode. We hope you've enjoyed it, and if you haven't yet, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Check out our new series called Pet Projects, where we do DIY treats and toys that you can do at home for your pets. Until next time, we hope you have an amazing week, and thanks for watching.